That's the sky. Steven said I should show it. So there it is. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's dark. It's gonna rain. Thank goodness. It's been hot. I mean, we're into September. <laughs> no, we're not. We're at the end of September, and it's uh, it's still pretty warm. I mean, it's like it's been in the 80s and sometimes even 90s. So it's been hot, and I am all for rain cooling things down a bit. Hi, Steven Knights. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, today's a pretty good day. I had a good day. Not raindrop. Good day. Oh, raindrop. Everyone, like, has been bugging me about this day. They're like, dude, it's day 666. Six, six. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, it's funny, like, yeah, haha. -ha. Um, but I mean, it's, it's just a number. I mean, even... Even for the people who would appreciate it as a significance, which would be, uh, you know, a religious meaning, like, the, the number 666 is not even relevant by today's standards. But just because uh, in, in religion, in Christianity, which is the, the religion that focuses on the number 666, like, that's, that takes place in, in the last book, where, like, things happen in the future, so, anyone who would think that there's significance to the number, like, now, I don't agree with. In fact, because I knew people, because I live in the South, in the Bible Belt, where everyone's, where a lot of people are crazy, and, uh, like, there, there was people, there was someone one time that their license plate was 666, like, what, they, they got issued the license plate number, and, uh, they, they wouldn't accept it. They're like, no, I can't, no, I can't do this, and they had to get them a different one. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think, I mean, it's a funny coincidence. I mean, it's not really a coincidence. I mean, 666 comes after 665 and before 667 in a line of numbers. But, I mean, it has no more significance than any other number. It's kind of like the same thing of, like, you know how some, uh... Well, actually, it's a surprisingly large amount of, uh, buildings that have a lot of floors don't have a 13th floor. Like, it goes from 12 to 14. But you people on the 14th floor, you know where you're at. I think it's a Mitch Hedberg joke. It is. Yeah, I love Mitch Hedberg. Anyway, today we went to Walmart, which is not all that different from most other days, but uh, we decided today we're going to have a margarita pizza, because margarita pizza is awesome. It's really good. Have you ever had one? It's basically... Um, cheese and spice. Cheese, cheese and basil and tomatoes on pizza, and it's awesome. It's probably one of my favorite pizzas ever, which is saying something. Because I like, I like a lot of pizzas. One of the major things that I wanted to announce that I think is pretty cool is that I just, like, in the last day or two, hit 500,000 upload views on the vlog. Half a mil! Woo! And you know, in YouTube terms, that's not a big deal. Because there's videos that have, like, 10 million views. In fact, there's videos that have 100 million views. So for me to hit half a million views in total for all of my videos... It's not a big deal. But you know what? It is a big deal. Because I haven't had any, like, runaway hit videos. I mean, you guys have been watching, and you guys can go to the upload list and scroll down. Like, there's not videos that, that have, like, 20,000 and 50,000 and 100,000 views. Like, all of the, the views that I've gotten, I feel like I've worked really, really hard for. I mean, the average view count on the videos is probably somewhere around, like, 700. So, it's taken a long time. But we're finally half a million, and I think it's really cool. Also, it started to rain, but you guys have ears, so you probably realize that. I am going to be honest. I, uh, I have no real desire to get out of the car. Like, it's pouring. I'm just going to give it a minute or two. Hopefully, it'll come down long enough for us to run inside. Margarita pizza in the making. I'm excited. Check out this cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Honestly, delicious cheese. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it. But it looks really gross in this particular state. Shredded, not so much, but it's like a big old lump of something gross. Tastes good, though. At least one on the pizza. And on goes the mozzarella. This mozzarella was already sliced. It is, uh, right through the way. Bell something. <laughs> it looked like it came in a two-pack. Um... My mom got us that a while back, and we've had it in our fridge. Uh, she probably got it at either Costco or Sam's, but you can probably find it at any major supermarket. But uh, 
we have quite a bit of it, so we're going to cut it in half. Use half of it for pizza tonight, and half of it for pizza maybe tomorrow. I'm fine with having margarita pizza two nights in a row. I love margarita pizza, and it is a good way to celebrate half a million views. This will be the uh, half a million views margarita. Elton Brown taught me that the colors of a margarita pizza stand for colors of the Italian flag being red, white, and green with the red Roma tomatoes, the white mozzarella cheese, and the green basil. Really? It's Elton. Yeah. Oh, Elton. Probably the best person on Food Network. No, the for sure best person on Food Network. And Good Eats is canceled. Oh, well. The basil's getting cut. We got a big old thing of basil. For two pizzas. Pretty much everything we did was for two pizzas. Well, not in the beginning, but then after we realized we had enough of some ingredient for two pizzas, we were like, well, let's make two pizzas. And on the basil goes. Completed product. Looks really good. I lost one, so I gave you the pretty one. Oh. Well, how does it taste? I'm assuming very good. Good. With weeds finished, we've gone back to watching Billy the Exterminator, so we're going to enjoy our supper and watch us some Maybe not. cockroaches. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. not that. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. The last article of the day is a letter. We got a letter from Matthew in Durrell, Newfoundland, Canlanada. I think I, I did that right. And what is inside our special day 666 mail? Dear Stephen, I hope you get this letter. First line is a success. I've been a big fan of yours for a couple months, and I gotta say, your LPs are the best. I watch every one of them, even if I hate the game. Your commentary is the most rated G I have ever watched. I was hoping to send in a card pack, but I don't live near any good shops. I'm 13 years old. I even watch and subscribe to every channel of yours. I wish you luck with your new wife, Mal, and wish you luck with finding a suitable job. I hope you keep doing your vids. I watch you for five hours each day. <laughs> From Tomatable, or maybe Tomatable. Anyway, P.S. The drawing won't be good. Well, he's warning us. You say it's tomatable, I say it's tomatable. <laughs> let's oh. call the whole thing off. See, it's the reasons like this I married her. All right, let's see here. It says, Stephen and Mal play Minecraft. Which we do, and actually have to do, um, soon. Because there's one coming out like Saturday, but we got to make it. And Dan's coming, so we should probably record that. Anyway, thank you so much, Matthew, or Tomatable, Tomatable. I'm Tomatable? Tomatable, Tomatable, there's two M's, so Tom, uh, I, I have no idea. It's interesting that you know that on uh, the commentary being rated G, um, that's something I, I sort of try for, I guess maybe half heartedly. If you, I, I know that if people have a, a problem with the word piss, that they will definitely have a problem with the LPs, because that just, that just comes out every time I run into a monster. But for the most part, yeah, I'd say that all my channels. Um, post college are pretty family friendly. <laughs> the vlog uh, back when when Alex was on was uh, wasn't always the most family friendly thing, but it was good. It was good fun. It was good fun. Maybe not good clean. It was it, yes. It was entertaining, if nothing else. Anyway, uh, Matthew, I do appreciate the leather and the paper. Also, I just noticed that this P. I was like, I was looking at this like, why is the P shaded? And I realized it's his LPs, like let's plays. Yeah. That's clever. Anyway, if you're watching right now and you want to send something in, you certainly can. Go over to the channel. There's an address, send stuff. I get it, and I open it, and I talk about it, and I show it, and I talk about it some more. And uh, that's going to be it for the terrible Doomsday 666. Um, I'm not really sure what people were expecting, but this is it. None of us died. But uh, we do have to get off here because we actually have a dinner arrangement with Satan to get some pizza. Jalapenos. Lots of jalapenos, anyway. I'll catch you guys later. Join us tomorrow.